everyone! Okay, you know that I've been meaning to do more tabletop gaming on this channel in general, and thanks to a collaboration with Light Seekers, I'm now able to do that. So let me introduce my good friends, Dan and Tom, hey, who hello. have more experience with this specific card game than I do. So I've invited them here to play with me today to both show off this game and just to have a good time playing card games and call it work. Yeah! Um, so this game is called Light Seekers. It's a relatively new game. Yeah. And um, there are a lot of different components to it other than a strategy card game, but today we're gonna focus on the card game that it is. So if you're someone who likes other strategy card games, um, I was a big MTG player from back in the day. I play a lot of Hearthstone, so this is right up my alley. Like other strategy and trading card games, you've got a lot of different decks. You can probably see behind me. There are all different starter Ooh. decks here. The art style on them is super cool. And today we're gonna get into the gameplay. So without any further ado, uh, Dan and Tom, what decks are we playing with today? Okay, so uh, we're playing with the Mountain deck and the Storm Order deck. First of all, Trisha, welcome to the mythical world of Tantos. Oh Tantos. God. We're not in your house anymore. <laughs> we've, we've crossed, we've crossed the veil. Transported. I know. Where it's like I Narnia. am a pixie and hey. Tom is a mountain. I am a mountain. <laughs> Weather controlling pixie. Don't be uh, deceived by Malia. She's 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 super tough and feisty. Okay, so speaking of, uh, each deck has its own hero that you play yep. as. Tell me about your hero, Dan. Uh, so with the storm deck, we have Malia, and each hero has its own special ability that is unique to that hero. Malia can increase damage from combos by one, mm -hmm. and she has thirty. Life. Very cool. So you can take your little life marker and put it on the 30 to start the game. There cool. it is. Okay, and I have Dolo the Mighty. Ooh. I'm a mountain. How is this not going to be a the shortest with game a ever? Hammer. A mountain. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a David and Goliath uh, scenario. But uh, who won? Yeah. I know. Oh, I here mean, we true. go. <laughs> so D Dolo the Mighty <laughs> is part of the mountain order. Uh, so he's got 31 health. I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And uh, Dolo the Mighty's got like an activated ability. So uh, this is something that I could use as an action in the game. So I would take two damage, but then I get to draw two cards. So that's pretty cool. And you'll notice here that there are elements that are part of the orders. So mm -hmm. that basically dictates what kind of cards I can play. You'll also notice that there's a little gold ring around one of them. That means it's a superior element. Ooh. So we'll get into that later, but that means I can play more than one of the crystal element of okay. the mountain order. Fun side mission for viewers. How many times will I forget to add one damage to my combos? <laughs> uh, let's, let's try not to have that happen. I have to say though, I'm impressed just from a strength standpoint that you only have one more life than a pixie. As I don't get it. <laughs> Such is life. That being said, Tom, I love you, but I also really want to play this game. So can I tag oh, you out? Oh, jump on, jump okay. on. Yeah, tag, tag me out. So as we touched upon, there are different orders uh, in the game. So there's also nature, there's tech, there's astral, and there's also dread. They all play slightly differently yeah. as well. And uh, when you start getting booster packs and stuff, you get different heroes. So this doesn't always have to be the hero you start with. For um, these specific Decks. Yeah, but the hero will always dictate what cards you can play from the get-go. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And yeah, because it's a trading card game, these are the intro decks that that you can buy pre-built, but you also, of course, can build your own decks yeah. and customize that with your own individual heroes, which is great. Okay, so what is the basic turn order of this game? Basically, the objective is simple. You try to defeat your opponent, okay. uh, but the way the turns go, um, you'll see here on our nice little mats here, we've got this nice little key, which will tell you how the turns go. Perfect. It will start off with the buff phase, uh, we'll get into that later. We've got no buffs in play at the start, so we don't do that. Okay. And then we move on to the action phase. So um, in your decks, you have uh, 35 cards, 36 including your hero. You have five combo cards and 30 action cards. So your action cards are your basic actions you're gonna be taking throughout the game. Nice. There's attack, defend, and buff, uh, and then the combos combos we'll get into later. But okay. for the action phase of the turn, you can do two actions, and then there's the draw phase where you can spend unspent actions to draw cards. Okay. I think we should just get into it. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, it. I, these are shuffled. Would you like to cut my deck? Oh, let's not Dan? forget ceremony. Of course. There you are. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> we are playing with card protector sleeves yeah. to protect your the cards, guys. But the art style on the back of the cards is really cool, and so I want to make sure that we show those too. In fact, I'll just do it right now while I'm thinking of it, Ooh. without looking at what my top card is. Here it is. Ooh. Check out how cool Shiny. that is. Very, very cool. Yeah. 
Okay, Trish. All right, so I'm gonna slide this back in. Now, how many cards do we draw at the top of the game? I think you should go first. Okay. We're throwing you in the deep end. Fair enough. You draw four cards, and Great. my friend Daniel here will draw five. Okay, is there any type of uh, mulligan if I hate my hand? No, not really, no, no, no. Okay. You, you, you take what you get, you get Great. what you take. And an interesting thing about this game is, uh, I guess you don't really have as much need to mulligan because there is no specific resource management, yeah. if you will, where I need to get so many mana or land yeah. or anything like no. that in order to play cards, because that's all determined by your hero and those elements we talked about earlier. So, all right, so I go first, so obviously there's no buffs in no play. No buffs, don't have to deal with those yet. Now uh, I so get two actions. Correct. You ready to lose? Oh, damn! <laughs> already! This is his big talk, but he, I, can, I can feel the sweat I know, I'm already. actually pretty nervous about it. He's really warm it. right now. <laughs> I, uh, I, I have been After playing day card day games, day. strategy card games for a very long time. Bring it. So, you know what you can do right now? You can use uh, Dollar the Mighty's ability to get more cards in your hand. If you're I not happy with your cards, that's part of Dollar the Mighty's, you know. That's Dollar use, the Mighty. Dollar the Mighty. It's part of his awesome ability. Even though he's going to take damage, early on in the game, you can get more cards in your hand, and then you've still got one okay. action you can spend. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use that ability. So, I'm going to uh, use one so of my actions damage. to use that ability, and I take two damage, but I draw two cards. So, let me take two damage, which puts me down to 29 and I'm gonna take two cards. Now, normally, the draw would have to be your last action, mm -hmm. correct? But mm -hmm. because it's my active ability, that's not the case here, so I do mm -hmm. still have one action left I can do. Um, interesting, that could mm -hmm. be cool. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, I'm, I'm deciding between two cards right now. I'm gonna play my Lava Bouncer. Mm. Okay, so yeah. that's gonna do two I'm damage. Just, I'm just picturing like a bouncer at a bar, but entirely made of lava. <laughs> that's where you go with that? That's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I I guess he's really a ball, so it's like yeah, that kind of bouncer, like, but... I just had like, oh, ball of lava, I threw it at your face. Uh, which is <laughs> also terrifying. Like, Trisha sees a bouncer at a club. <laughs> a bouncer at a club that's yeah. made of lava. Okay. So, <laughs> it's like a golem, really. ID, please. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Stop stalling. This is going to be you know what's going to so, happen okay, to you Okay, this is two damage to you, Dan. All right, one, um, two. And the recipient moves two action cards of a category of my choosing, attack, defend, buff, or item from their hand to their deck. Um, and I'm going to choose attacks. I would attack. like you to, to move two attacks Ooh. from your hand back into your deck. Well, unfortunately, and I'm going to prove this to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did I just guess the wrong thing? You should have said both. Oh, attack cards. So okay, Dan go. is showing me something beautiful. So let's turn that to camera so everybody at home can see that. Well, oh, don't want you to see that though. So I obviously guessed the wrong type yeah. of card. Bad luck keep, me. Keep all of them. I, I, was, I was this close to going buff, <laughs> but then it didn't happen. So it's fine. <laughs> uh, well, Dan took his two damage. Okay. You did your action and you played an attack. So, that's, so that is the end of my turn. I, I, and I don't the... draw during the draw phase because I used both my yeah, actions. Yeah, no more actions. Correct. Dan's All turn. right. So we're going to come at you hard with a buff. Ooh. First off, uh, this will reduce combo costs by three, but in three turns. So at the beginning of each of my turns, I'm going to have to rotate this. So this turn I have an X. Next turn I have an X. And then the turn after that, all my combo cards are reduced by a cost of three. Ooh. I usually have to have uh, so many elements in order to play a combo, which will match at the top of the card, mm -hmm. but that card will take away yeah. the cost by three. That's amazing. And yeah, can we just talk about the rotating buff yeah, mechanic yeah. here? Yeah, absolutely. So as Dan said, like this is gonna rotate at the beginning of each turn. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what you do, once you put it into play, as Dan has done, uh, it will be the top left-hand corner that applies in that particular moment, and then you'll apply that to the text now because this has X's up in the corners, it's not going to do anything. That's for two just rounds. like time out. It's yeah. I'm waiting, I'm charging it's up. It's charging up. Mm -hmm. The yeah. swooping corvid swooping. Wait, what is it? It's a, it's a swooping corvid. A swooping corvid. Give us your best swooping corvid, Dan. I don't know. That was so <laughs> that threatening. Was I think I peed a little. I was it trying was to swoop while like, and I didn't want to go full on shrink. You don't want to go full, I never really, go full Corbin. Yeah, yeah. All right, we had phone users. Nope, Dan just saved you. Uh, yep. Yeah, so basically once that gets to the third round, so mm -hmm. at the beginning of Dan's third round, uh, it will then rotate rounds to here. So that means, as Dan said, it's going to reduce the cost of his combos, that he has one in his hand right now, by three. So I need to make Dan uh, 
get all of the combos out of his hand before that happens. Exactly. You'll notice there'll be different kind of buffs that will come into play as mm -hmm. well. So some buffs have no values in the corner whatsoever. That generally means that once it's on the table, it stays there until either the text is resolved or it gets removed by a player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something okay. to think about. Oh. Great. So your swooping Corvid is in. And that is my first action. Okay. Is there a limit to how many buffs can be in play at a time? You no. can have as many as you can put out. There. I've seen 12 buffs in play before. Oh my god. It's pretty epic. Okay, so that was your first action. First yep. action done, and then um, I'm going to draw a card for my second Ooh. action. Over to you. Miss. Over to me. Mm. Over to Dolo the Mighty. Dolo the um, Mighty. All right. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand, Dan? Cinco. That's five. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to use my ability. Use again. your ability. I'm going to use my ability, and I take two damage when I do that, but it's I draw okay. two cards. Dolo's, Dolo's tough. Uh, so, with my remaining action for this turn, I am going to play the Crystal Bat. Um, and that bat is not fragile, despite <laughs> the name being Crystal. Uh, looks very terrifying. Deals you three damage and heals me for three. So, I'm going Beautiful. to go back up to 30, and you are now down to 25. That text is resolved, so he goes into my discard pile, and uh, that is the end of my turn. It's yeah. your turn, Dan. All right. Fancy well, bet. first off, whoa! That Corvid just swooped by, didn't swooped it? Swooped by and whoa. did nothing. Yes, <laughs> did absolutely nothing. That's why it swooped. <laughs> so that doesn't count as an action. That's okay. just me rotating my book. Dan, unfortunately, doesn't come with the starter deck. So I know that that's what you're thinking. Um, I do like the colors on that card. Yeah, that's pretty the swooping cool. Corvid. That's very cool. I love the artwork on these cards as well. They're pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, what you got, Daniel? Um, and then Daniel. I'm gonna put in another uh, booth. Um, <laughs> this is the Hurricane Spirit. The attack ability, it will move uh, two cards uh, from the recipient's hand to okay. their deck. Okay, and to deck. Uh, in about three turns. Yeah. I'll point out something else about, so this is a slightly different buff as well. You'll notice here, uh, on the Swooping Corvid, uh, it's just got circular values in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Hurricane Spirit, we've got two circular values, and then, values? Values, and then when we get to the final corner, you'll notice it's a clunky one there. That basically means that once it gets to the clunky, it doesn't rotate out of play, it oh. stays in play until you use the ability, it's on there, and that oh. counts as an action. So, so you can save it up. You can save it up. Obviously, you've got to be mindful about leaving it in too long, because you okay. might be able to remove it later. But that's right. basically what the clunky means. Got and it. there will be other buffs where there's clunkies on every corner, where it will only rotate when a certain thing happens, for cool. example. Yes. Um, for my next action, I will draw a card, and then it goes over. Ooh, riveting. Pass. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I am going to uh, use my ability again. Okay. I know this is becoming like old hat for me right now. That's, Ooh, that's nice. That's okay with Dolo. You, you, you get that ability in yeah. early whilst you still got plenty of health, and then you got your chuck full of cards. Yeah, take my health down. Boom well, time. I healed myself for three, so I feel like I can do that again. Ooh. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to do, uh, well, I guess the only thing is I already used one of my mm -hmm. actions, so I only have one left. It's a pretty big thing. I am going to use my crystal no! leech. Which, uh, it does say burn on it, which means it doesn't go into my discard pile. It's actually removed from the game after this. But what this Crystal Leech does is uh, Dan needs to remove Stupid two card buffs. is what it is. Oh, and look, you have two buffs. Oh, two whole buffs. To remove. <laughs> Your light, your gameplay has been meaningless up to this so point. So I'm gonna, been... I'm just gonna set this off to the side <laughs> yeah. so I remember that it's not part of my yeah. discard that's file. That's basically what burn means. It means that once it ends up sort of on the discard side, it means yeah. that if you have any cards that allow you to retrieve cards from your discard pile, that just stays up. Like, Doesn't count. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I hand it over to you, Dan. All right. <laughs> um, okay. What way? So we're gonna put in the storm shaman. <laughs> oh man. Um, What's a storm shaman? Storm do? shaman. Shaman's the storm um, and increases damage one. Uh, done to other heroes. Shaman's the storm. By, to shaman. Uh, what does yeah. it mean to shaman? Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> it increases damage done to other heroes by on, on the next turn, it will be four. But nice. on this turn, it's nah, nothing. Nothing. So it's here's, a big old a, here's a question. Okay. The turn that a buff comes into play, is it automatically active on that first? On that top yeah. left hand corner. If that said, if that had like a value of some a value, kind. then I would definitely. Definitely want to try to do something. Okay, this so it's away. not like it to, needs to wait a full turn yeah. to start Correct. being active. Right. Got it. Okay, There's cool. some like healing ones too that as soon as I play it, oh, I'll get four healing or How however nice. many. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that in there? We'll have to wait and find All right. out. Storm um, Shaman. Okay, that was uh, my first attention. action. Second action, I'm going to draw a card again. Okay, um, 
Let me just re-examine everything I yeah. have here. Um, so let's the first thing I'm going to do is play my flame bat. Uh, so this is a bat made entirely of flame, and it deals five damage to Dan. Now, I had to be a swooping Corvid. Can you be a flame bat? I mean, I'm not gonna light myself on fire for this video. <laughs> as, be dedication. as many hits as it would probably get, <laughs> Budget, I'm not yeah. going to do that. Budget cuts at Trish's house, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, picture if I was entirely on fire yeah. and then Whoa. swooping. Yeah. I would have actually gotten up and run around the table, but I, I have a mic on, so I can't. Uh, but yes. Very frightening. Yes, I hope that you were frightened. Indeed. I'm quivering. So the five damage, which brings you down to what, Dan? 20. 20. Oh, oh. 20 to my 28, but that's okay. Anything can change in this game at any time. Uh, and I'm also going to play for my second action, an attack called Scrying Crystal. And the recipient moves all combo cards from their hand back into uh. their deck. Deal damage equal to the number of combo cards that were moved. What, whoa. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, can you so, repeat yep, that yep. one more time? So you're gonna have to go through your hand and uh, remove all of your combo cards, which I know in the beginning we were teasing combo cards that they're big and bad and can change they'll the course of the game. They're coming. Uh, right now Dan has to remove all of his, and put them his. back into his deck, and also take that many damage. So how many is that? Strategy and plans Two damage. for the whole game went away. <laughs> Two. Okay. Thank I'm you, sorry, Scrying Dan. Crystal. Um, like I said, those can be game changing. So that was a yeah. very good card. And then that was both of my actions. So it goes back to you. Now, because you took those out and put them in your deck, you just reshuffled, yes? Yep. Yes. Great. It's Dan's rotate, turn. It's rotate your Storm Shaman. <gasps> your sham, Shaman of the Storm. Or, and it, it um, that will increase all attack. Increase damage done to other heroes by four. So it doesn't even necessarily need to be from an attack. But it's not a clunker, so it only works for this turn. Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, we'll do uh, yeah. four damage plus four, wow. that's eight. With the Dust damage. Fiend. With the Dust Fiend, this card, and this would have been really, really helpful. This card can count as any element when used for a combo. So, oh, you know, man. If, if for instance, I don't know, I had a really awesome combo in my hand the turn before, before I had to go and turn all my combos in, and I was missing an element, I could have used this to pay for it. So what Dan means by paying for a combo, I know we haven't dealt with combos yet. Uh, normally how our hero has elements and we would use those to cover the cost of a normal card that has like one up here. So you're like, oh man, they match, cool, I can do that. Combos have more than one up here. And uh, instead of using the elements on your hero to pay for that combo, you actually need to take cards from your hand, yeah. enough of these put together that they satisfy the cost yeah. from your hand back into your deck. Dan was saying, you know, if he were to have combos and was maybe saving up some cards to put back into his deck to pay for said combos. Hey, there's still, there's still time to get some combos into play. That would have been a really great one because it can count as any element. So you hit your Dust Fiend with your Storm Shaman for eight damage. Correct? Eight damage, that eight brings me down to 20. Dust, dust Fiend, that sounds like a vacuum <laughs> vacuum brand. It's a vacuum's worst get nightmare. The new, get the new Dust Fiend. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then I'm going to draw a card okay. and now it's your turn. Okay, um, now does that mean the Storm Shaman is out of play or it waits it till next turn? It will rotate out at the beginning of my next turn. Even though the, the effects have been resolved, um, sometimes having buffs that stay in play actually have either a benefit or a detriment to you, depending on how many buffs you've got in play. Okay, um, okay I, you got? I'm going to use my Dolo the Mighty ability cool. to take two damage and draw two cards, Beautiful. which makes the game 18 to 18. It is now, Whoa, now. a tie score. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, that is also interesting. <gasps> we got some cards! Shh, don't I mean, tell him that. We've got some boring cards <laughs> that have no Tom use. the worst? Tom, it's Tom poker face. Come worst. on, dude. <laughs> I thought I was helping. Now, if you do play a combo, it takes up your entire turn, so you wouldn't be yeah. able to do that. It takes you've both your actions, and I've already used one, your so you're right. So I cannot. If you just had happened, let's say hypothetically, Drew two combos just then, neither of them will help you. And another thing to note as well, you can use other combos to pay for a combo. So if you've got a combo that matches the symbol, oh. symbols or has one or more of the symbols, you can contribute those to the cost and you can overspend as well. Don't tell her that. I'm Interesting. I wanna see you <laughs> crushed into the dust. 
You don't have to play favorites. It's okay. It's okay. It is fair that I know all the rules. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Playing, I'm think. helping. Subjective. It hurts my heart to not use this card for its full potential, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, I'm going to play the Umbron Thief, which is an attack that is not affiliated, which means it has no element at the top, oh, yeah. and it can be card. built into any deck, mm -hmm. any color deck. Um, the Umbron Thief who is just stealing stuff. That's <laughs> he, that's what he does. Uh, <laughs> he deals four damage to you, Dan. Now, if the recipient has more health than me after the damage, I would heal for three. That is not the case. Yeah, well, so he just goes into my discard, and that is the end of my turn. It's not your pretty... turn, Dan. Okay, so the Storm Shaman shaman's off. Okay. He's now I, I like that shaman is a verb. <laughs> shaman. I do, right? Okay. Um, so, <laughs> let's see. Storm what Shaman. We... <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite pieces of Yay. art in the whole game. Uh, this is the Vitalizing Frog, Ooh. who I don't know if the snake is his staff, okay. but he's squeezing it and the <laughs> snake is screaming. Anyway, it gives me six healing. So one, oh, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. Wah oh man, 20 to 18. 20 to 18. Vitalizing frog. Good Vitalizing for the skin. frog, yes. And then I am going to dry Okay. Dry I like that you just became a pirate as well. Just? Uh <laughs> Apparently I should have introduced this video with my pirate friend. See what yeah. I mean about his ego. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, do I want to do this or this? Stress um and I think I'm going to go with the combo defend stream of Tantos. Ugh. Um now to pay for stream of Tantos, if you look at the top of this card. It's got three different elements on it, which means I need to take cards with those elements represented on them from my hand and place them back into my deck to essentially pay for this combo. So I am going to use, okay. I'm, I'm going to use another combo in my hand. Hey, I wish I didn't okay. have to, but I'm going to do that. It's gonna work. So the crystal skin combo in my hand has two crystals and what is that one? That's Craggy uh, rock? That's the earthquake. Earthquake, earthquake okay. element. So you got, you got earthquake, you got a crystal, crystal and then, and then you... I'm going to also use During a relic that, that has fire. fire. Down nice. a craggy rock. Down a craggy rock. rock. <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, <laughs> shuffle this back in while you would please uh, take seven damage. Take, no, no, you take six, damage. six damage. Six damage? And I heal for seven. seven. That's a beast. He's kind of flashing you. So I go up to 25. And, and you are down to 14. 14. Since the text was resolved, that goes into That's my discard. That's a one discard. and done. There's okay. a big one and done. And then you get to draw a card when you play a, a card. Card. That Isn't resolves it? your turn. Okay, perfect. So that's it, I'm gonna draw a card, nice. and that is the end of my turn, Dan. Okay, so um, this rotates out. Oh, you're real excited now. Well, like I'm that. excited because guess what it is? Oh, no. Guess oh, what it is? Oh, no. It's the Dance and Flutterer. Uh, so three damage, increased by three if you have more than 20 health, but you do have that guy which uh, blocks it by two. But, so, how so much it's is six total? damage minus, minus two. two. So oh, four damage. damage then get rid then of I that. Then I get rid of that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. four takes me down to 18. Okay. The mountain fort goes the into my discard pile. The goes away. And I'll then my second action, uh, three damage with the cackling beast. <laughs> uh, three damage, but I <laughs> may remove a buff to increase it by three damage. So that's six damage wow. to you. Oh man, okay, go. okay, so six more damage to me, that brings me down to 12. It is now 16 to 12, and my how the tides have turned. I was bragging before. Yeah. Um, and is that the end of your turn, That's Dan? It. That That's is it. the end it's of getting, my turn. It's getting there. Okay, so your magma worm turns, boom, one damage. One to damage to ah. Dan. Thank you for that. Okay, so that was my buff phase. Um, I can not pay for that yet. Um, okay, I'm gonna use my ability. Take two damage, which takes me down to 10, which is ballsy at this point, yeah, because he could have lethal, but. Door gotta... of the Mighty has big balls. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut up it True, I have huge balls. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Boulder balls. Let it be known. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play the buff Exterior Defender, which is cool. Looks like a little oh, droid. Yeah. Uh, cancels the next attack against me. So provided whatever kind of damage Dan is doing as an attack, which I'm guessing it's not based on this motion that he's doing, that might be able to save me for the game. Okay, your turn. Fantastic. So I'm going to do a uh, combo buff 
uh, paying for it with my lightning and wind. Oh no. Uh, lightning storm. Ugh. So right off the bat, four damage to you. Plus one. Plus, Plus one. one. So five damage. I'm down to five. Um, and these get shuffled back into my deck. Okay. I will draw one and then it goes over to you. Oh my okay, goodness. so Nine while you're one. doing that, that down rotates, deals you two damage. I'm so excited. <laughs> You've got 13. Can I do 13 this turn? Oh man, uh, you know what? I cannot do 13, but what I can do, do is 10. Oh. Uh, so that is Inferno, it's a combo attack. Okay, I've gotta you... pay for it yeah. with two flames, so I'm gonna use the flame bat and the uh, Everrock Relic. They're oh going goodness. to go back in to my deck. And that oh. deals you 10 damage. Oh, it's now, down to the wire. Now, once I shuffle, I'm going to draw, uh, because oh. that's what you do after a combo. She's dead, yeah. Anyway. From that? Plus no, one, shut five. Your mouth. It's over! Wait, oh, because that's not an attack. I was going to be like, no, my defender! <laughs> Damn! Off. Alas, Dan's ego prevails. Oh. That was a, okay, first of all, that was a marathon game. That was a game. Usually <laughs> these games are over in like, I don't know what, was, 10 to 15 minutes yeah. max. That was intense. <laughs> I was, yeah, that was riveting. Look at this. I know. I Look know. That, that's Came it. down to it. That's and it. you had like 28 when I was down to what? Seven it was 27 to seven at one point. Seven seven at one point. Seven. My, how the mighty have fallen. There Good it is. game, Dan. So that's Good Light game. Seekers, Trish. What do you think? That's Light Seekers. No, I, I do think this is a really fun game. I think that it is um, a little bit easier to learn than some of the yeah. other strategy card games out there. So once you get the hang of it, you can start playing right away. And then after you start dealing with the different gameplay styles of the different decks, you understand more the complexity yeah. um, and the different strategies you can go about with it, which is really cool. And start to build your own decks too, where you can mix yes. and cross orders. And so you can develop cross order decks where we could uh, mix our decks together and then item cards come into play yeah. where you're able to use cards that are out of your character's element. Oh, um, yeah, a mountain storm. Exactly. But then you have to be careful which hero you choose because that could really affect oh, things. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is a super exciting time uh, to be looking at the card game because I do know that Play Fusion are looking into doing uh, digital to physical kind of interactions. Oh, a little AR yeah, type of stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. There's plans to later do digital versions of the card game. That's uh, cool. You'll notice here that there's little bumps around the side here. I know that there's an app that you can use that, to look at the cards with mm -hmm. an AR functionality and Neat. they come to life. 3D figure pops yeah, up yeah. on the card. It's super it's cool. Awesome. Play Fusion's also going all out with action figures and stuff for this oh, too, right? Yeah. It's huge. Like Smart the, action figures. Yeah, it's so Ooh. cool. And you know, and, and these are being introduced through hobby stores all over the country right now. So all future expansions are going to be appearing in hobby and game stores. Cool. And uh, there's going to be all kinds of little goodies coming out. It's, it's super cool. I love this game. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I, I like being able to share new finds with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to say thank you to Dan and Tom for coming and being okay. on this episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're so sweet. Also, huge thank you to Light Seekers for partnering with me so that I could make this video have lots of different camera angles and all sorts of fun <laughs> stuff that I can't normally do on my channel. So thank you for that. Um, if you want to find out more about Light Seekers, you can do that by going to lightseekers.cards and read all about all the awesome stuff they're doing. You can also check out each individual card. The card library is there. So if you want to check out other cards and start collecting them and start building your own decks, yeah. you can absolutely do that. One thing. Can you just move your life marker down to zero just so I can Because I'll make you really happy. feel like I won. <laughs> You're such a dick. Thank you. Oh. oh, now it's real. It's a good thing I like you. Yeah. Dan and I have been friends for a very, very long time. Yes, um, and yeah. Tom is a more recent friend. Yeah. But it's yeah. lovely to get together and play cards with friends. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.